rigging the spinner cut with the bag system could not be easier. We're just gonna start off by taking the head. We're just gonna take the spinnaker halyard, looking up the mast, making sure it's not twisted around anything. We can attach the head to the spinnaker halyard. You could use little balls to attach the sail, but I just use bowlines. And then once we've attached the head, we want to work our way down the luff. The luff we can determine by looking at the thickness of the tapes, the luff will always have the thicker tape. So we're just gonna work our way all the way down there. And then we're gonna find the tack. Now, if your tapes were the same size and you weren't too sure which was the luff, which was the leech, when you get to the tack, it will always have the sailmaker's logo. So we're then gonna take the tack line, which comes directly from the end of the pole and attach that onto there as well. Okay, so we're then going to attach the sheets to the clue. So just gonna work our way down the foot of the sail, the bottom edge, where we'll find the clue. What I'm gonna do with the sheets, and this is the same if you've got a bag or a chute, is I'm just gonna take the ends of the sheets together like this, and we're just gonna find the middle. Okay, so we've got the middle of the sheets. And now, this does depend on how big your eyelet is for the clue, but on this one, it's big enough so I can pass the sheets through there double. If you couldn't do this, you may have to uh, do a splice onto your sheets to make it possible. That'll be in another video. All right, so then I'm just gonna pass the sheets through itself. and then we'll pull that tight. And by doing it that way, it means you haven't got a big lump at the clue of the sail to get caught. Using the Allen Auto Ratchet 60 here, there is an arrow to say which way to go through the block. Because it's an auto ratchet, it means it will only click with pressure. And it wants to click when you pull it in. There we go, that makes it a lot easier. From there, we're gonna go through a slightly smaller block without a ratchet. And now I'm just gonna pull some of that through and I'm just gonna throw the rope towards the back of the boat. This is actually the only bit you can get wrong. So we're just gonna make sure that this sheet goes completely on the inside of everything. And then I'm just gonna throw it. Okay, and then from there, exactly the same as on the other side. Just checking it is the right way, yes. Okay, and then to finish off the sheets, we're just gonna tie the two together. I like to use a hitch onto each side. So first hitch like that. If you know what this knot is called, put it in the comments below. And then a hitch onto this side. And then that pulls together and that's a very nice way of attaching the rope to itself. So finally, we just need to pack the spinnaker. So what we'll do is making sure that the sheets are behind the bag. We're just gonna pull the spinnaker in. And then we're gonna gather it up and then stuff it in. And then what we wanna make sure of is that all of the lines for the spinnaker are leaving the bag from the same corner. So this would generally be on the left side, the port side. And then once we've got all that in position, we just tuck the hoop under, and there it is, ready to go. I'm on board with Antonio, he's on the helm. I'm just gonna go through the hoisting and dropping technique with the bag uh, spinnaker system. And then if we do stack it, 
We'll be going through what to do after we've capsized as well. I think that's quite handy. OK, so what we'll start with, the same as a conventional spinnaker, but more important with the bag, is we've got to take the boat really deep downwind to start with. So if you want to take us so that the wind's almost straight from behind. Right, just checking for traffic. Because if we're not sailing very deep downwind, the spinnaker can get blown around the back of the mainsail. All right, so now I'm going to start hoisting. It's a single line hoist, very straightforward. All right, so once it's hoisted, I'm just going to chuck the halyard off the back of the boat. I'm going to take the sheet. And we're off. If you want to sheet the main in pretty hard there. OK, and this is exactly the same as with a conventional spinnaker. The wind's light will be on the leeward side, playing the sheet, just keeping it as eased as possible. And then as the wind gets stronger, we'll move across to the windward side. I should just bring it up very slightly. Small amount. All right, so the drop with this type of spinnaker, we put the halyard out at the back so we can see if there's any twists in it. If anybody does have a good way of having a takeaway system for this type of sheet, this type of halyard, we'd like to know about it. Because anything we can do to reduce the mess is going to be good. All right, so when we're ready for the drop, again, deep downwind like we are, I'm just going to take the sheet, get the sail in the hand, and then uncleat the halyard, and then get in the bottom of the spinnaker in first and I'm pulling it into my body pulling it into the body first and then into the bag making sure that before we start packing the jib sheets are behind the bag that makes it a lot less of a mess later than just tucking the bag in on itself. Nice. So, going for the hoist, bag is open, we're deep downwind, long arms. Down to lure it, pull the sheet, hand it out the back. Okay, so we're just going for a jibe. Here it comes. Having to pull the jib across. That's old school. OK, so now we're sailing on the port tack. We do generally want to be dropping the spinnaker down onto this side of the boat, because if we were racing, we'd always want to hoist it from this side. It's much tidier to be hoisting the spinnaker with it coming out on the leeward side. So if we now want to drop it, I'm just going to release the sheet, pull it around the front of the jib, Get the sail in the hands. And again, same technique there. Got a knot in the halyard. This is just one of the small downsides of this style of spinnaker system. But again, with a good takeaway system, you could possibly avoid this from happening. Okay, one common cause of capsizing with the spinnaker is if you don't ease off enough, bear away enough. I've lost Antonio. Woo! Okay, I've lost my, I've lost my crew. Yeah, if you don't bear away enough in the gust, then that bad boy will capsize. I've got a bit of rope out here you can grab hold of. All right, so it's capsized, of course. Important to stay attached to the boat. 
because it can get away from you, especially with the kite up. So the question arises, what do we do with the spinnaker when we're capsized like this? Okay, so what we're gonna do, it's very similar to the drop. I'm just gonna grab the sheet, pull the spinnaker so I've got it in my hand. Yes, thanks. We've got a bit of a, a twist in there, which might be full of water. And then once I've got the sail in my hand, I'm just gonna release the cleat, pull the sail in, just making sure I am keeping control of it so it doesn't just get washed off like a big bag of uh, something or other. And then from on the boat, from this position, it is very difficult to get it in the bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop it under the toe strap so it doesn't fly away when we come up right. And then once we're in that position, we can then get the capsized right in line. So we'll toss the right in line over the top. We're gonna to let the downhaul off as well so the mainsail doesn't flog. Gonna let the jib off. It's a bonus of the classic. We can roll the jib for the capsize writing. I think the main sheet is eased, but the traveler is central, that's what we want. Okay, so as it starts coming up, all right, if you lean in now, go for the dolphin striker. Watch your head. Okay, and then we'll get back onto the boat and have a bit of a tidy up. Okay, best way of tidying up after doing this, if we can, is actually to put the spinnaker up again. Yeah, so I think that's what we'll do. Uh, so I'll take the boat downwind first. All right, so I'm just going back downwind. Okay, go for the hoist. The sheets, yeah, that's it, you got it. Nice. Okay, now we've got the spinnaker nicely, we can drop it nicely. So then we're ready for next time. So, okay. But we drop it on that side. We'll drop it on this side, as, as we did before. So you could go for it when you're ready. 